five bourbons, five minutes, single blind. Hey, it's Nathan from The Bourbon Experience. I picked up five off of the shelf that are 100 proof. And as you can see, I've randomly mixed them around. Nice, that one's kind of got a little slightly medicinal, a little thin. Maybe it's like a kind of a medicinal cherry kind of cough drop type of thing. Okay, so that one, a little more floral, a little maybe bready. A little more viscous, but the finish, though, isn't quite what I would expect off of this. Just slightly behind the first one. Number three. Okay, a little bit less on the nose. That's really kind of plain. Maybe a little bit of uh, spiciness toward the back of the mouth, but not a whole lot on the palate here. A little grainy, but this one's kind of a distant fifth. All right. A little more sweet. Looks a little thinner in the glass. Again, still sweet. The sweetness not didn't really translate a whole lot coming in the nose. A little bit more astringent. That one's also leaving a lot of heat on the tongue. So I think so far we're continuing to go in order here. Let's try number five. Okay, that one's been the smoothest. You get that kind of little toffee, shortbread kind of flavors on that one with a little bit of a candied fruit. Yeah, okay. So, so far, that's going to be my number one. I'm going to go for another round and try these in a little bit, let my palate rest a little bit, and we'll come back. So I'm going to put these as my current reasons. Alright, <clears throat> so round two now, I'm going with this. So, taking a little bit of a rest, I'm now coming back, and I'm going to try what my fifth place was going up to the front, and see how I like these things. So, here's glass number one. Back to the nose, maybe a little bit more well, maybe maybe a little more oak. So this time, maybe a little less antiseptic. This is a bit more, a little, little more oak forward actually than I, than than last time. <clears throat> kind of surprised. That second second sip did not help it out though. That one. So we'll we'll see how we go with the rest of these. Because I'm not getting a whole lot of things other than kind of an oak medicinal type of thing going here. Fourth place finish. Let's see if this beats out Numer Fado. So, sweeter, fruitier on the nose. Yeah, de definitely a better nose. This is a little more grain forward. Yeah, this one still, still stays in front. It's a lot more enjoyable than the first one, so in the, than the fifth place. So this one still stays where it's at. So now we'll go into third place and see if that still stays above. This one has a little more of a classic bourbon kind of aroma. A little bit of char, maybe. Some caramel, a little bit of vanilla. Okay. This one even has actually a little bit more antiseptic than the fifth place one. Off that first sip, this one's in danger dropping down into fifth. Yeah, without a doubt, that one drops into fifth place. So, kind of disappointed with the follow-up on that one. Number two. Yeah, fruitier. This may be the fruitiest one on the nose. Maybe a little floral? I don't know. I'm liking this one. This one has some nice barrel notes to it. Maybe a little bit the low end of the baking spice level. So, I think this one there stays in its position. We'll see how the, we'll see how the last one goes. This one kind of has a little bit more now vanilla forward aroma, but kind of like a kind of a caramel apple. That's consistent with the last round. This is exactly what first place out of this group. Yeah, just just very nice, very smooth, very mellow. So far, pretty good. I've got my order here. So my least favorite one, number five. Wow, I have never gotten that out of this Heaven Hill bottled and bond. I really like this one but it just did not test well today. That'll go in fifth place. Fourth place, Jeff the Creed. This, this one you can really distinctly pull out that bloody butcher corn that they use. Third place, okay. So this one finished higher than what I thought it would. Benchmark bonded. I was actually anticipating this one to finish on four or five. Second place, Four Roses. This matches that floral element that I was getting. This is the best bang for your buck out of their standard line. First place, Old Granddad Bonded. I was expecting this to be fourth or fifth, whereas Heaven Hill, which is one that I would have selected to be the winner, ended up dead last. What does this mean? It means I stink at this. <laughs> Do a blind yourself. It's a lot of fun. It's well worth the adventure. If you have five that you would like to see tried, let us know in the comments below. If we have them, we'll give them a shot. Thanks for joining me on this, and we'll see you next time. It's for all bourbon. Day.